Hey everyone, Eric here from EVH Gear Discussion, coming to you with a real quick tip video today for your EVH 5153 series amplifiers. Uh, we had a message come through our Facebook page today, facebook.com slash EVH Gear Discussion, and it was from a fellow by the name of John, and he was having some dilemmas and problems with his 5150 amplifier. He thought he had possibly blown it up. He had moved it from one room to the house, whatever, and when he wanted to turn it back on, he's getting huge hums in several of the channels. Uh, whenever you switch channels, he some of the channels had like next to no volume, just kind of a crackly, almost like a blown speaker kind of a sound. And he was uh, worried that he had damaged it. And I kind of had some thoughts right away as soon as he described this to me. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play his video right now, and you'll get to hear the examples of what it was. And I'll tell him what I told him to do and how the what the outcome was of that. All right. So here's his video right now from John. second channel so let's uh here you go Okay, so what you saw there is him switching through the different channels and you heard either extreme hum or you heard no output whatsoever. I had the same thing happen to me one day. It was just a coincidence when it happened. Nothing wrong with the amplifier and there's nothing wrong with John's either. It technically resol uh, resolves from the DIN cable coming from the foot switch. And I have a 5153 four button foot switch here right now. And the DIN cable, which is, you know, a multi-pin configuration cable, I had the same thing happen as well too. Fortunately, I have a couple of these switches here kicking around, and I had a couple DIN cables. Um, it wasn't the it wasn't the foot switch at all. Here's what I had John do to, to to troubleshoot the amplifier. I had him put the amp on standby, shut it down, remove the DIN cable, and then turn it back on, take the standby off, and uh, try to manually switch the channels on the amplifier with his hand. And he told me that worked 100%. The humming is all gone in every single channel, and uh, uh, there's there's no hum, and the volume is consistent on every channel the way it should be. It's exactly what the problem was for me as well. I, like I said, I just had to have a, a spare DIN cable uh, uh, kicking around, plugged it in, it worked 100%. So if that problem uh, arises for you, and you get the similar kind of sounds that you're hearing in John's video, chances are 99.9% .9 that is what the problem is. If not, you want to escalate that further to one of your local authorized Fender EVH service centers. But I hope this was of a help to you. And I told John right away, I asked John if I could use his video for permission. He granted me permission to do so. I just figured it might help others down the road if they have a similar problem. Things can happen. The cables getting wrapped up might have got pinched, damaged somehow in transit. Who knows what? They can Cables are cables. They can go bad. I haven't usually seen too many go bad, but that's mine and his. Uh, so there's maybe some others as well too. Hopefully this quick tip found uh, uh, some value to you. And if it, if it did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And until next time, Talk to you soon. Cheers.